Hey everybody, this is Brennan here with Common Motor. It's common-motor.com on the internet. And in this video, we're gonna be getting you familiar with the positive side of the wiring harness as part of our electrical troubleshooting series on these vintage Honda motorcycles. Let's dive in and take a look. So when I'm thinking about electrical stuff, uh, I like to use the analogy of a sandwich where we have two pieces of bread and a filling in the middle. So bottom piece of bread, filling, top piece of bread. <laughs> and in this video with the positive side circuit, we're gonna be thinking about the positive side of the harness. We're thinking about the top piece of bread of the sandwich, whereas the bottom piece of bread of the sandwich would be our ground circuit. We have another video that gets into that. Make sure you check that out as well. It's important to understand both pieces of bread. So when we put the filling in the middle, it makes sense. But in this video, we're gonna be looking at what would be the top piece of bread in the sandwich. When we're talking about the positive side of the wiring harness, we're gonna divide it into two halves. And that halfway point is gonna be the key switch. So we have switched on 12 volt positive, and then we're gonna have power between the switch and the battery. So let's look at that latter half first, from the switch to the battery so you can better understand this half of the system. We have our 350 and we have our battery in the bike. We have it both connected on the negative side and the positive side. So we're looking at this half right here on the positive side. Now, what's really important about the positive side of the battery is we have to think about this as the finish line of where all the electrons end, end up. They start here at the negative side of the battery. They run through the different parts of the, the wiring harness and the ground, et cetera. And this is where they all terminate. This is the end of the electron path is right here. One more thing I'm gonna point out while we're looking at this, this part of the battery is some color codes. Now we have some color codes that are standardized here in the US and then we have other color codes that are standardized that Honda uses on the wiring harness. Now we typically think of, uh, when we think of battery, we think of red as positive and black as negative. And between the key switch and the positive terminal of the battery, this is true. So as you see here, we have this major wire here labeled in red. It goes to the solenoid that then eventually goes to the starter. We have a secondary wire here. I'm gonna bend that back a little bit. This smaller wire tied to the battery here. It's got a red with a white stripe on it. This is the wire that's gonna end up going to the fuse and then eventually the key switch. So let's check for 12 volt positive power. And essentially what we're doing is we're working backwards. We're working from this way up the circuit to where we finally uh, get to the other end of what would be the positive circuit. My test light here, uh, make sure you check out our test light video if you haven't seen it yet, how to use this. In this example, I'm gonna take my alligator clip, I'm gonna connect it to ground, which is just gonna be a kind of fin on the engine. And I'm gonna touch it to the positive side of the battery. And that says, all right, I have good ground connection and I have power at the positive side of the battery. Great. I'm gonna run up the chain here. The next thing I'm gonna run into from this positive side of the battery is gonna be my fuse. And I happen to have the fuse right here. Uh, we've upgraded the fuse holder in this bike to one of our blade style fuses. If you have the glass style fuse, it's the same, but make sure you check out our video on that. It's a great upgrade. And here's a cool thing of the test light. If you look at the fuse there, I can actually test the fuse to see, is it good? I have power here, and I have 12 volt positive power here. One thing you might notice, I'm not, I don't see the term, this is hot. You hear a lot of old mechanics say, find the hot wire, find the hot wire. I don't like that terminology because I think it's misleading. What we're trying to isolate is do we have 12 volt positive power here and here. So let's say I'm looking at this side of it, right? What this says is okay, from this point that I'm touching all the way back to the battery, I have a good connection right because our electrons are running from ground through our test light through the fuse back to the battery all right our next stop in this half of the 12 volt positive circuit is going to be the key switch let's take a look at that we've moved forward uh to the key switch on the bike uh, on the 350 we happen to have this round barrel style switch other bikes have the square style switch it doesn't really matter the connector the the architecture of the wiring is still the same and I've removed some of this sheathing here of the wire so you can see what's going on. 
right here. What do we got? The red wire here. That same red wire is one that runs through the harness all the way back to the battery. If we want to confirm it, I'm hook the test light up to ground. In this case, just a fin on the engine. And I'm going to touch it right there. And we have we have power there. It's important to remember that this red wire, as long as the battery is hooked up, this red wire is live and has power going to it. And the switch itself here is really our kind of drawbridge or our disconnect to the 12 volt positive side of the battery. So keep in mind, anything that's red that is part of that side of the circuit between here and the battery will be, will be live. Uh, I'm gonna plug our switch back in here. Okay, we have a color change here. Uh, now, once the power you know, runs through the switch here, it goes from red to black. So anything between the switch and other components in the bike, you're gonna see this solid black wire. We have lots of examples of this in the harness, and we're gonna show you them in various places, but this only goes live when the switch is on. So right now, switch is off, no power which is on, I have power, right? So this is the, this is the switch is the, not only is the on and off, but it is the color change from red to solid black. And we're gonna see a lot of these solid blacks all the way through the harness here. On, off, on, off, on, off, right? Uh, there's a couple other wires here. Uh, some of the stuff has to do with the parking light and put it in parking position here. Um, kills the black, but then we get power to the brown for the tail light from parking. Not too worried about that, we don't use it very often. My big concern is now uh, the saw black wire from the switch all the way through the harness to the different elements in the system. And now that we understand that, you know, once the, the positive pass, passes past the switch that uh, it changes to black, we're gonna see that there's a lot of these solid black wires all throughout the wiring harness and they end up in various locations. But they're all the same and they're all interconnected back to the switch. Uh, for example, we happen to have one right here. This is our brake light pressure switch. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that from the pressure switch. And we have a, a solid black wire right there. Let's test that we're getting power. Test light goes in, key is off, key is on. Power, key is off. All right, let's go find another one. All right, we have another one right here. This is a wire that goes, 12 volt positive wire that connects to the starter solenoid, uh, same deal. In fact, I'm not gonna even unplug it. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze my test light in there and make sure I'm touching the terminal, but my test light metal is not touching the frame or anything. Let's kick on the switch, Let's see what happens here. And again, 12 volt positive right there, uh, that black wire, one of many. Uh, we went ahead and open the headlight bucket. Let's connect our, our ground. Uh, if you saw in our ground video that these all those solid greens are ground wire, so we can connect right there with our test light. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power key. And we have a good couple of, again, these all solid black wires here. Here's, here's like a cluster right here on the terminal, and boom, 12 volt positive there. Same thing right here. 12 volt positive. So there's, and, and these kind of terminals are, they're like a four port terminal, like you, multiple things get plugged into them that then go into other parts of the harness. And so the way you gotta think about that is this is the, this is kind of the end of the, uh, the, the top piece of bread here. I said they're all throughout the system and they're all the same. And inevitably something gets plugged into them that goes somewhere else. There's a lot of uh, these wires here that come out of this harness piece. They go up to uh, switch boxes, they go into the lights and things like that. But really understanding that the solid blacks are your 12 volt positive wires when the key's on is kind of the, the, the important takeaway from here. And that all these other color wires are just like the filling of the sandwich in between, which we'll get into in a different video. Uh, another point is if, if this whole kind of bird's nest cluster in here is really intimidating to you, uh, you might want to check out our uh, headlight untangling the bird's nest video where we actually unplug all this stuff, kind of show it and put it all back together in real time to show that it's actually not as intimidating as it looks. It all pops right apart, pops together uh, quite easily and we kind of call out the different color codes because regardless of bike model, most of the wired color codes are virtually the same on all the bikes produced from the mid 60s to the late 70s. So. 
there's about 90 something percent overlap between all the mic models, regardless of when it was built. All right, to summarize uh, the, the positive side of the, the wiring harness on the bike, we have two main takeaways we want you to uh, have here. One is that the positive side is divided into two halves, the half between the battery and the key switch, which is gonna be color-coded red, and then the half that's from the key switch throughout the harness is color-coded in a solid black for Honda. So that helps you isolate if there's a problem between which half of the system there if you're trying to find something that's going on. The second takeaway is, well, with our test light here, hooked to ground, I'm tapped into a solid black wire here. I have my key on and that test light is on. That says from this place here where that test light is touching, all the way through the harness, through the key switch, back to the positive side of the battery here, I have a good connection because our positive side of the battery is the finish line for the electrons to travel. So all the electrons are trying to get back to here and that path from here to here is clean and good and should be equally good throughout the harness, assuming that uh, wire hasn't been cut somewhere else or a terminal has been taken off by a previous mechanic, but generally if it has been messed with, all the other ones should be equally as good. Let's summarize is the uh, positive side of the wiring harness, which is basically our, our top piece of bread in the sandwich. And the reason we're approaching uh, these videos with this kind of sandwich analogy is that if we understand the bread, the top piece is good, we understand the bottom piece is good, it helps us figure out what's going on in the middle. So it's kind of approaching it from two different directions. Again, our bottom piece of bread is our ground, our top piece of bread is our 12 volt or positive. Uh, if you haven't checked out our video on understanding ground, the negative side of the battery, check that out as well. Because if these two pieces are good, then we can isolate what's going on in the middle. We're gonna cover some of that stuff in future videos where we get in some of the subsystems and how to troubleshoot those on the bike. But right now, we want you to understand the pieces of bread <laughs> of the electrical system right there. With that, this is a brand name with Common Motor. It's common-motor.com on the internet. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Subscribe to our newsletter via our website. And of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel down below. Make sure to ring the bell for future notifications and we'll see you next time.